the future. How do we imagine the future? Well, our view of the future is of course fluid, it changes. It is always but an extrapolation of current trends and current zeitgeist into what we think are the most likely developments. But they are always based on our unique perspectives which we have in a certain era. That is why our vision of the future is drastically different from how it was only some decades ago. If we travel further back in time, our vision of how we imagined the future would drastically change again. And in the late 1800s and early 1900s, the people imagined the future so incredibly different from how it actually turned out to be that we cannot help but to smile. The visions of the future from past ages that never came to pass is what we call retrofuturism. In this video, I would like to visit an utterly fascinating era, an era in which very optimistic visions of the future were prevailing, in an age where great scientific advancements were made in a relatively short amount of time, namely the 50s, the atomic age, and the beginning of the space age. How did people back then imagine the future? Let's take a look at 50s retrofuturism. Hello dear futurists, welcome to Ultra Future, the channel where we're discussing all things future related. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. In the 1950s, the great American interstate highway system was built and the car became the predominant form of transportation and a symbol of the American way of life. And hence, of course, this newfound car centrism was also reflected in the way in which people imagined the future. Of course, self-driving cars were imagined even back then, and in this wonderful illustration from that era, we can see a happy American family playing a board game of sorts while the car is driving itself. And we can see other self-driving cars further in the distance. And here we are, 70 years later, and fully self-driving cars have still not materialized. Although right now, we are closer than we have ever been. And very likely, it's now only a few years away into the future. So that vision of the 50s might come to pass after all, which is here beautifully illustrated in another picture. Although of course with a massive delay and the cars of today now look very different from how they were envisioned back then. As for car design itself, logically, it was imagined to just look like a more futuristic version of 50s car design. The Lincoln Futura is a great example of 50s retro futurism, with a double glass cupola for the driver and the passenger side. This car was actually later used in the 60s Batman TV show as the Batmobile, but unfortunately it never went into mass production. Now since we are talking here about the 50s, where everything was imagined to be nuclear powered, you can imagine that nuclear powered cars were of course also a thing. In 1957, Ford imagined a car powered by a small nuclear thermal energy reactor called the Ford Nucleon. This car was envisioned to have an 8000 mile range, you've heard correctly, 8000 miles or 13,000 kilometers of range between refuelings. Take that electric cars. But of course, soon the impracticality of what to do with the nuclear waste became apparent and hence this fascinating example of 1950s retro futuristic car design was never put into production. But not only cars were to be nuclear powered in the atomic age, locomotives of course also. This here is a fascinating depiction of how they imagined an atomic powered locomotive. Of course, even though cool looking, as in the case of the Ford Nucleon, this just proved utterly impractical, especially with cheap diesel engines and the advent of electrically powered railway lines. In this next image, we can see how the interior of a future car was imagined when driving through a futuristic city. This image here is actually not so dissimilar from what really happened. There are indeed now cities with very large highways going through large skyscraper valleys and there are indeed central displays in cars, exactly as on this picture, even though of course they don't display a sine wave, but maybe more practical things like time, the music playlist or the navigation map. Yet still, this 50s retro vision is at least somewhat closer to what actually ended up happening. So how did people in the early 50s imagine a drive through diner by the end of the decade? Well, of course, there would be a lot of Lincoln Futura style cars 
parked outside and you could order things from large TV screens and your groceries would then be brought automatically to you. This vision actually ended up happening in some modified form with modern drive throughs even though modern drive throughs are unfortunately often not quite as efficient and large as depicted here. But we could say that in some modified form this actually came to pass. Here is another fascinating idea from 1947, an amphibious RV. You could drive it anywhere and then use it as a boat. On the inside it would look like modern RVs complete with living room, bath and kitchen. But of course this idea was also not very practical and so it never came to pass. This is a quite far out vision but the times back then were very optimistic with regards to future technology development and so a Jetson style personal flying saucer shaped flying car was something which was envisioned to be easily achievable maybe 10 or 20 years out into the future. Of course this turned out to be a much more difficult problem to solve and so here we are in 2024, 70 years later and flying cars are only very very slowly starting to materialize mostly in form of air taxis. However companies like Aleph with its Aleph Zero are really trying to finally bring flying cars to the market and therefore that vision of the future even though very 50s retro might still happen in some form or another. Now of course it is clear that the 50s future also needed to have monorails everywhere. Monorails were envisioned to be the mode of transportation inside cities but of course we know that this did not materialize at least not so much in the US. The car and light rail lobbies saw to it that monorail concepts were buried before they were even built and so in the US there are almost no cities right now with monorails or monorail like transportation systems. Only a very few exist such as in Las Vegas, in Miami or in Detroit. However we do find many such systems in Asia and in particular Chongqing in China has a monorail system that has a total length of more than 60 miles or 100 kilometers which is very impressive. So that vision of the future did indeed come to pass in some regions of the world but certainly with a longer delay than people back in the 50s would have liked and they probably would have liked it to happen more in the US and not so much in Asia. A more far out idea of how future houses were imagined can be seen in this issue of Mechanics Illustrated. This magazine imagined semi-spherical houses within a transparent dome with a parking garage built below. Since the garden surrounding the house would be still inside the dome one could regulate the temperature and the climate and therefore be in the pool even in winter. It would also allow the house to be very open constructed as if there was eternal summer. Fascinating idea which obviously never happened and probably never will at least in this form. But how about another cool 50s idea, rocket mail. By 1965 already they had envisioned mail to be transported by huge rockets. Well luckily email has done away mostly with classical mail but of course large parcels are still not transported by rocket even today. However reusable rockets such as the upcoming SpaceX Starship may make it possible to deliver large payloads within a short time frame around the planet. So who knows maybe not rocket mail but rocket based large payload transportation is not so far away anymore. Here is another idea from the good old 50s, a personal small helicopter called the Hoppycopter. Basically this was to just be a variation of the flying car idea but in form of a small personal helicopter. While this has not materialized due to technical limitations and of course due to the ubiquitous availability of cars, we can however see some trends going into that direction even today. The company Jetson for instance with its Jetson 1 has started producing a small personal VTOL aircraft. So we can see that such ideas are still floating around 70 years later and are actually materializing in some form. But of course a 50s vision of the future is never complete without space. The late 50s saw the beginning of the space race and so therefore a future in space was imagined as absolutely bound to happen very soon. Here is how they imagined a landing on Mars 
with a pressurized sphere serving as a habitat module for the astronauts. The whole thing would be mounted to a tractor-like structure which could traverse vast distances. In the background we can see a rocket plane unloading cargo. And here we are 70 years later and still haven't even landed on Mars. Epic fail. Come on faster Elon, faster! Here is another retro space vision, namely a domed lunar city. It was clear for Americans back then that there soon would be cities on the lunar surface. Unfortunately, this also did not happen. But I hope someday it will. And then this future vision might actually not even be so far off from what might come to pass. Here is another space-based one where astronauts are building a lunar city with a huge dome as seen on the previous illustration but here as seen from the inside. And what about another one with a futuristic city? Although this one is probably more like early 60s but the general tune did not change from the 50s. Namely, huge skyscrapers, ubiquitous public transportation on many layers, subway and of course monorails everywhere. Futuristic buildings in the background and of course highways, all nicely stacked atop of each other. While this vision also did not come to pass exactly as seen, we do in fact see some variations of such scenes in some cities on Earth. And so we can see that even though some 50s retro future visions were wildly off, others were actually remarkably visionary and did indeed materialize in some form or are probably going to happen in other ways, shapes or forms in the not too distant future. If you are a futurist like me with a fable for 50s retro futurism, please like and subscribe since it would greatly help this new and small channel and see you in the future.